Alright, so now we're going to be using the bottom IR sensors and learning how to work with them. So again, kind of like what we did with the top IR sensors, we're going to display onto the screen what their values are. So what we need to do to get the serial monitor going is we need to do the serial.begin9600. So this way we get all of that set up and the communication going through. Then we need to go through and set all of the pins to inputs that we'll be using. So the bottom IR sensors are pins 11 through 18. So we need to go through and set each one of them as an input so we can read the value that they're getting. So we'll go through, we'll do all that, and then now we can get down to the loop. So inside the loop, what we're going to do is we're going to read the sensors, and we're going to save them into these V underscore number ones. So it stands for like value 11, which is for the sensor plug, is for sensor 11. So what we'll do is a digital read, and this will return 1 or 0. 1 is if it sees something or if it sees like a light color, and 0 if it sees nothing or like a really dark color. And then we read pin 11, and it saves the value, and so we can use it later. So we'll go through and we'll do this for all of our sensors, so we get all the values in. Once we have them all read, we can go through and start displaying them onto the screen. So we're going to use the serial.print and serial.println commands. So this way it prints um, all of this onto the screen, and then it tacks on the end the value of v11. And then after that, since this is a println, it'll do the new line character. So we will get some that looks like, you know, pin 11, followed by the number, and then we'll do an enter for the next pin. So that way everything looks nice and it's all pretty looking. So we can go through and we'll do this for all the rest of the sensors. So that way we get all of them in. So now we have 11, 12, all the way down to 18. But then again, since this loop goes through really, really, really fast, we need to add in a delay. So that way it slows it down a bit, so that way we can actually see what is happening. So this one we're going to do a pretty short one, we're just going to do like delay 15, so it'll still move pretty quick, but it won't be incredibly fast. So we can go ahead and upload this and try it out. Alright, now that it's uploaded, we can open up the serial monitor and see how it goes. So, flip the switch down. So now it's going through and it's displaying onto the screen all of our sensors. So right now it's on the white table, so it's reading 1, pick it up, and now it's reading 0, because it doesn't see anything next to it. So now it kind of on part white, part black, and you can see kind of the ones and zeros blinking by. But it's a little hard to tell which sensor is specifically reading what. So what we can do is if we uncheck this auto scroll here, it'll pause the scrolling. Our code's still running. If you watch the little scroll bar over here, there's still more sensor information. But now we can stop and look and see, okay, pin 11's reading 1, da da da, 18's reading 0, and go through and figure out exactly what everything is reading. 